Today we're going to be going over how to make a scabbard. Now um, we're going to go with a wood core scabbard. I'm going to do a felt liner in it, wrap it in leather, and then uh, there's going to be some silver fittings that go on at the end. Um, but for the wood, which is what we're starting with here, um, we have a piece of poplar. It's a quarter inch. I think this is four inches wide. Um, and you want to make sure that you're getting a piece that is, um, you know, nice and flat, but also uh, fairly thin because you're going to be taking a lot of this material off and removing less material is always better. So it's going to be three layers and what we're going to do is trace the sword out and then we'll, uh, since it's a leaf shaped blade that I'm going to be working on today, um, we're going to uh, strike straight lines down the board from the widest point on the blade, therefore the blade will be able to be removed from the scabbard. So now we have uh, our sword laying it down on the poplar. Um, I'm looking at right now uh, space between the edge because I'm going to need to put in another piece of wood. Like I said, it's going to be a three layer stack um, that's going to go across here. And I want to make sure that I have enough material at this edge um, in the end to uh, hold everything together nicely. So uh, I have you know, three-eighths of an inch there. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm nicely squared up uh, at my guard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace this. And at that point, once everything is traced, I'm going to need to go back and draw in that web, um, this distance here. So I'm going to just go ahead and sketch that on here. And the important part here so once this is sketched on, we're looking at this wide point here, and we're going to grab a straight edge and make sure that we strike a straight line. Well, we have one down this side uh, because it's, we're using the edge of the board there, but we'll need to strike a line from here all the way back. Then once we do that, we're going to then cut this out. We're going to need two of these. We're going to cut this out and then we're going to cut two more pieces that will then be the webbing on the sides. But we're going to strike a straight line from here all the way back so that way the blade will be able to get drawn from the scabbard. Since we have a swell here, if we follow that line, uh, it will not work so well. Alright, so now it's just taking your straight edge. making a line that lines up with the outside of your edge. That's going to show you the channel that you're going to need to cut. And getting that nice and lined up with the webbing that you're going to want on the outside. Probably something like this. There you go.
So now that I have this guy cut out, we got two of them. We're going to start looking at cutting out our edge pieces. And so I have the line where the sword is going to go and where our webbing is. I'm going to line that up the best that I can. Right now, I already have uh, this piece cut out from, from here. So I have a line that pretty much follows. And what I'm going to do is now that I've lined it up here, I'm going to flip it and trace my line here. So now I have a guide cut from here. And I know that it will line up on the inside and it should line up on the outside. And we'll do the same for the other side of it. And we'll have all the pieces that we need for the wooden part of our scabbard. Once you get these guys cut out, go ahead and clean up the inside. Make sure that they're smoothed out nicely. And then they'll sit in here along that line that you'd put in. They get glued down and you'll be ready to move on to the felt. So we've taken our uh, wood glue and applied it to our scabbard and our uh, pieces going up the side, our webbing. It's going up the side here. Now it's all clamped together and going to sit and let that cure. And once that's done, then um, we will go and start adding our felt. So now that we have this guy uh, all glued up, uh, one thing we want to do is make sure that it's going, our sword is going to fit in, that things haven't shifted. Um, and so just sliding the sword in, I'm catching a little bit through here. So it looks like I got a little tight spot. So what I'm going to do is just go in and remove just a little bit of material. Um, I'm using uh, a chisel to just remove some material in the sticky spots. Um, it's not a whole lot that needed to get removed there. You need to keep going back and forth to make sure. No, it's pretty close. pretty good. So now that we have uh, the blade set so it slides in and out, now it's time to throw some felt in here. We have our felt. I'm just going to go using the edge of the felt uh, that we already have here. Kind of lay that in my crease. And you take a, a utility knife. Just go ahead and run down the corner of the crease here, Not the inside of the scabbard. So that's a very easy way to get this to line up nicely. And if it's not perfect, it's all right. If it comes up on the corners, it's all right. But that there lays in pretty well. And so now what we're gonna do after this point is we're going to go ahead and use um, contact cement to lay in on both sides so this sits down nice and flush. Uh, however, before we go ahead and glue this guy down, what we are going to do is cut out a second mirror image of it.
to go on the other side of the scabbard. It's important to do that before you glue it down because if you don't, well, it's glued down and you can't use it as a model. And here we go with contact cement. Here we go with contact cement. Contact cement can be a pain in the ass to uh, get uh, really good coverage on the felt, uh, but as long as you have pretty good coverage, things will stick down pretty well. This guy is just about where it needs to be. So what I like to do is stick the bottom down first, because felt often stretches. So when you come up towards the end, or towards the throat, um, if it stretches, that can all stretch out of the scabbard, but if you're pushing down towards the tip, you kind of run out of area, uh, run out of space, because the you know, scabbard's only so long. Um, but at the tip, it can just extend over. There you go. So now we have felt laid down on this side. And um, we have our second felt strip, and that will get laid down on the other side. So now the next step is to lay the felt down onto the other side of the scabbard. And um, remember, in the beginning, when we traced out our lines, we put some guidelines on that piece, so that way we know where the felt uh, should go. So we're going to work to those guidelines and get this all set. So one of the really tricky things about building the felt cord scabbards is... Um, getting it so that your sword will slide in and out um, without getting caught up and um, and not rattle around too much inside. So you're gonna, you, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you take a measurement of the thickness of your blade and make sure that you're giving yourself enough room once it's in, uh, in the scabbard, among, enough room uh, over the top. So right now, if I take a flat block I'm making slight contact. You can hear that, that wobbling. Uh, so I'm making slight contact with my spine. So what that means is that I need to go through, I used a, uh, a rounded gouge to uh, just carve out down the center. I'm leaving just enough room for that felt to go through there and so everything is nice and snug. Because also remember that felt is gonna compress a little bit. Um, and uh, and you want to make sure that you're you're not like super loose in there. That a nice tight um, uh, fit is really what you're going for, uh, but not too much resistance, so it's uh, really difficult to to uh, draw. So, having put that little gouge in, um, I have my my piece of felt. I'm just going to lay that down down the, uh, on my blade right here. Now. I'll just throw this guy over top to give myself a good idea of how this is going to go. I'm just going to give a nice tight squeeze and things move out, uh, move nicely out of the scabbard. So right there is what I'm looking for. Um, one thing that I have found is that if you are too tight in the scabbard, because you know when you assembled it, maybe the uh, the glue shrank the scabbard together, or you know any number of different things. Once the leather goes on, that can change how tightly your blade fits. Uh, if you um, really just get a lot of uh, um, a wax on the on the sword, um, like a paste wax, a Johnson's paste wax uh, is what we use mostly. Um, if you just like, cake it down with that. Put it in, let it sit overnight. That helps compress the felt, and then um, you're also impregnating the felt with the wax, so that every time you go into the scabbard, um, you are helping to uh, coat 
uh, your blade and protect it. Um, so there's just a couple of, uh, of tips uh, going into this point of actually getting the scabbard all sealed up and making sure that um, it's going to be a thing that your sword will be able to go in and out of. Now that we have uh, the side glued down, again we just use the contact cement. Got a little bit hanging over our edge here. Um, and we've gone through and followed that line uh, that we had drawn in. These guys will kind of register together nicely. Just like that. Now it's time to get them glued together. So we're going to be using uh, just a wood glue. And you want to be kind of sparing at, on this, um, at this application because you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of extra glue um, going into the inside of your scabbard. So you want to do a pretty thin bead. Something like that. It's, um, I guess you can't really quite see it there. Um, but a very thin bead, you can see, is not, not too much to it. Um, you know, right here, probably that's, that's a bit too much, but you can go through and just kind of smooth it down. Um, and, uh, you just want to make sure that you're not having a lot of overflow that is, uh, getting into the inside of your scabbard. So, now that we have that all set, we're just going to drop this guy on top. And then go ahead and clamp the bejesus out of it. Now that we have everything glued together, what we're going to do is go to go to the grinder and smooth out our edges because not everything matches perfectly. So we're going to get those guys smoothed out. While we do that, uh, one thing that I like to do is since we have felt in here, we don't want to get crap inside that. We want to keep that felt nice and clean. So I cut a piece of leather that I can then slot down in here, keeping crap from getting in here and then possibly scratching up the blade later. So, over to the grinder to clean up our edges.
the one thing that we run into now is that we still have that quarter inch of material um, that is the thickness of the wood that we started with. And we don't need nearly that much material for our scabbard. So what I'm going to do is run on the flat to bring this down to, you know, maybe half that. An eighth of an inch should be plenty. Um, so that's going to be the next step. Then from there we're going to go through and chamfer our edges and start to round things out. Alright, so now you can see that we've um, uh, carved that down a bit. So we're about at an eighth inch. And, um, and now the thing that we're going to use as our guide is that corner bit there. So we're going to start beveling these edges to round this out and then give a gentle rounding to the entire piece. So at this point you can see um, I've chamfered those corners in and at this point um, what we're going to do is go ahead and round out all the hard corners and um, that'll be pretty much uh, all we need to do as far as the shaping goes. We're going to really, uh, that, that outside corner is going to get rounded very um, steeply and then the corner on the inside is going to get a very gentle rounding to um, give a more round face to the scabbard. So uh, you can see oh, um, the kind of shape that I've gotten now. Rounded things out, maybe not quite perfectly, but pretty good. Um, one other thing that I changed here is you can see um, I got some tape here and what I did was I trimmed down the piece of leather um, so that um, you can, and I put some tape on it, so that we can just grab the tape and slide that piece of leather out. Um, and so that's going to end up sitting there, kind of ground through parts of it, um, just trying to get the right shape here. But we've thinned down nicely, and um, you know now uh, it's going to uh, get to the point where we're going to be ready to start putting some leather on it.